What's good, YouTube? It's a Christ of Life and Prophecy. And, um, Cuban Doll is dating Jay the Youngin. Um, now listen, man, I don't, I don't tell anybody what to do in their social life. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever you want to date is fine. You know, uh, I think just be cautious, just be careful of the outcome, you know, because we've seen this from Tato, you know, uh, we've seen this from just obviously Tato, because that's the only person that she was, you know, affiliated with, you know, at the time, you know, they, you know, it explored her, you know, her, her tape. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had a link taped out. And, uh, you know, it wasn't Tato who linked it. It was just, I think, her, you know, best friend who linked it. She didn't know that she was being recorded. I think it was around her, her birthday. Uh, so, you know, it got linked out. And now it's on every, you know, pornographic web website you can think of. Um, but... You know, uh, she was clowning around saying that, you know, you know, she's dating Phil. Well, she said that in one of her, one of her IG videos on Instagram and on YouTube that, you know, she was, you know, you know, dating a female, quote unquote. Uh, that came to be negative because obviously Cuban Doll is not a lesbian. She's not bi. She's straight. So, so, a couple of years, you know, went by, a couple of months went by, and then obviously, I guess she settled down. Um, now, J.D. Youngin, you know, he's an up-and-coming rapper, you know, and the funny thing is they both 22 years old. So that's pretty good. They both very very young. Um they're both very very young. One is from obviously a Dallas. The other one is from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um two high powered cities. You know what I'm saying? Um very very interesting uh things about that city, about both of those cities. You know what I'm saying? A lot of great rappers came from Louisiana. A lot of great rappers came from Dallas. So it's kind of like a, you know, mute on mute connection. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? Um, so yeah, so with um, J.D. Youngin, uh, his mom was actually in the military. Uh, for the ones For the ones who don't know, I don't even know him personally because I've never heard about him. But, you know, you know, I did my little research, you know, he has two brothers, one sister, uh, you know, he never met his dad, you know, his dad was in and out of jail throughout his, you know, adolescent years and stuff like that, so he went to go live with his grandma, you know what I'm saying? His mom was a little bit strict, because you can, because you, cause you can get that when you're, when you have parents who's been in the military, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, like, they preach that streak. Well, not streak, but they preach her that that um that um balance of you know you have to get your crap right half of the time, you know, strict rules that they have to follow. Um, you know, he looks like a clean dude. Um, he's nothing like Tato, obviously. Uh, if you don't know who Tato, Tato was, Tato was obviously Chief Keef's cousin. Um, you know, so I think that relationship is buried, uh, you know. And then obviously she had, you know, like Cuban Doll had Tato. Uh, she had, uh, you know, 6 9 but they didn't take that seriously, obviously. They had Kodak, she had Kodak Black, obviously. She didn't necessarily take it to the next level with him. Um, so now she's dating Jay the Young uh Jay the Youngin. Um but 
he does have baggage and um he does have a lot of baby mama drama you know um cuz i believe he has two baby mamas or just one um i'm not sure but um so that's probably going to be a a a sign of a, a red flag that uh you know a lot of people or not a lot of people just hurt and generally is is going to have to watch out for um but i don't think they're going to do any harm or mean any harm you know what i'm saying like sh- they moved on just like he's moved on you know what i'm saying but uh you know you know how exes are you know what i'm saying like they'll st- you know they'll play that stalking game and they'll you know try to win you back and you know what i'm saying so she just has to watch out for that you know that's all other than that that dude is clean as a whistle you know uh it, from my experience you know he's not in no gang you know he's not affiliated with nothing you know what I'm saying? He's a clean dude that just loves making music. So maybe, you know, Cuban Dog finally, hopefully she finally, you know, settled down and, you know, try to make something out of this instead of just jumping from guy to guy to guy to guy to guy because she's never going to get anywhere if she keeps on doing that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like not 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 all the time you're, you're your first date is going to be your first love, you know what I'm saying, like, it might take you, like, a few, few times, like, it might take you, like, three, three different dates to, you know, finally get the one, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, you know, I mean, because y'all can let, y'all can question this, too, when y'all met the one before her, there was, like, five, six other different girls y'all dated. Yeah, y'all dated them, you know, a few, a briefly, and then, you know, y'all broke up. Dated another one two months, broke up. Dated another one three and a half days, or five and a half days, or ten days, broke up. Until she, until you met her. That just changed your life forever, you know what I'm saying? So, you get that feeling, you know. Hopefully, you know, they can just settle down and, you know, take this relationship seriously. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want another, you know, incident like Tato. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, just, you know, or even worse. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so let me know what you think about uh, Jada Younging and Cuban Doll's uh, relationship, quote unquote relationship. Because um, she got spotted in her, she got spotted, I mean, she got spotted in his house wearing his chain. Now, obviously, if you ever know, if you know, you know, rapper females to wear male chains, it's a sign of, okay, I'm yours and nobody else's, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like how Jay-Z or kind of like how Beyonce wore, you know, the Jay-Z's, you know, Rockefeller um, symbol, uh, diamond, you know what I'm saying? And she threw the, the diamond hand sign up. Which is a pyramid, which obviously is in the back of a dollar sign. You know what I'm saying? All that conspiracy bullshit. Um, but yeah, so, you know, anytime, you know, whether it's a tattoo, well, not really a tattoo, I'm not going that far, but anytime if it's like a chain, it's a symbol of I'm yours and nobody else's. Nobody can. You know, say, or nobody can snatch you away from me, this and that and the third. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. So, uh, you know, again, congratulations to Cuban Doll and, you know, obviously, you know, J.D. Youngin. You know, I mean, they both 22 years old. And Cuban Doll is about to, per- like, yeah, Cuban Doll is about to turn 23 on May 12th. And I believe Jada Young's birthday is on July 15th. So, um, I guess you got like a cancer, no, hold on. You got a, a Taurus and a Cancer or Gemini. 
I don't know what Jada Youngin is, but you know, do cancer and ge do I mean I say cancer do Taurus and either cancer or Gemini go together? I don't know. Compatibility wise, yes, a Taurus and a Cancer go very well together. It's a Gemini and a Cancer that don't go well together. You know, so you always have to put that. Mm, you know, you 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 always have to put that ahead. Now, a lot of people may not believe in that. A lot of people might believe it's hocus pocus, this bull crap. It's you know, like you find love who you with. I mean, you find love with whoever you seem fit or whoever sees you fit. You know what I'm saying? Like whoever sees you attractive and you know what I'm saying can you know start a family, whatever have you. Like, but again. The way you act, the way you talk, the way you present yourself, everything revolves around your sign. You know, you are who you are. You know, not everybody's a humanitarian like an Aquarius. Not everybody is thinking outside the dome astro astrologically like in this, you know, Aquarius. Or even... A Virgo, you know, Virgos are very, you know, family oriented, you know, like who else in the, in the Zodiac family is family oriented? A Taurus, a Taurus is very family oriented. A Virgo and a Gemini, no, a Virgo and a, in a Libra does not go together at all. They don't go together because they don't see, they don't see eye to eye. You know, so, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, anyways, man, just, you know, congrats. Hopefully, you know, this relation, hopefully their relationship can go far. Because uh, I don't want to see another incident like Tato and stuff like that. And, you know, he's been, you know, obviously cheating with, you know, Cuban doll. With, I mean, he's been cheating He's been cheating with other females, so, you know, because obviously Cuban Doll went through her phone or went through his phone, and, you know, she saw, like, a whole bunch of text messages from some other girl, and, you know, the girl who linked her video, she actually put her on blast, revealing she had a sex tape, too, with another dude, so, it's just bullshit, drama, you know how it goes. Uh, but hopefully, you know, this relationship can last, you know, and this relationship can go even further, you know, despite J.D. Youngin having two baby mamas, or I think not even two baby mamas, uh, I think it's just ex-girlfriend. I don't even think he has any kids, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, if he does, let me know in the description box down below. If you're a big fan of his, let me know in the description box down below. Uh, or let me know in the comments down below. I said description box down below. My bad. Um, but just let me know in the comment section down below if you're a big fan of Jada Youngin. If you see them two, you know, lasting until we, we, we in what? March? March, April, May, June. Ju I'll give it to the end of July. I'll give it to the end of summer. If they can last up until then, I can say it's official. You know? But anything can happen from now to then. So hopefully this is just not, hopefully this is just, hopefully this is good things to come and not smoke and mirrors and stuff like that, you know, because I really do want to see her do good and stuff. And, you know, she deserves to, you know, be, you know, um, in that right frame, you know, uh, especially with his, especially with you know, Jay the Young and Mom being a, being a Marine or being in the Army, that's that's even better, you know, because a dude with respect, man, that's that's going to take him very, very far, you know. Like, he didn't, she didn't have that with Tato. She didn't have that briefly with 6 9 She didn't have that briefly with, you know, with Kodak, you know. So now that she has a guy who's well-respected and, 
you know, like his mom don't take no bull crap and you know what I'm saying? So he has a good shoulder on his head. So um so yeah, so let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh till next time take care of yourself and each other.